Friends, many growers, welcome to our Lenten journey. I hope that we are all excited and we are taking this time seriously to reflect on who we are and, and what can we offer um, to the Lord in this wilderness journey. And so we are on the sixth day of Lent, friends. And, and yeah, I, I really hope that we are taking this time to reflect. We are taking this time uh, to journey together. And so we are going to have six sessions uh, for this uh, Lenten uh, period. We are going to have six reflections. Today's theme is sacrifice. And I just want to say thank you to Brendan Gowing, uh, who has helped us in making sure in putting together uh, this 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 uh, uh, series and 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 writing it in a manner that is going to be uh, challenging and that is going to uh, reflect who we are in this Christian journey. So let us pray before we begin. We have the Christ candle, uh, which continues to be the symbol of light, symbol of life, and so we continue to thank God. Uh, we are going to add slide slides so that you can see and 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 reflect uh as as we continue to to journey so we want to thank you lord for this time that you have given us we thank you for the gift of reflection we thank you for the gift of journeying together we thank you for the gift of of just allowing you to renew us anew we have we have been going through difficulties uh, we have gone through challenges which continue to be part of our society and our lives. But we hope and pray, Lord, as we journey, you are going to give us a fresh anointing. You are going to give us a fresh eyes and, and ears and heart so that we can hear you anew. We need to hear your voice. Your voice which speaks in darkness. And darkness cannot put it out. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so let us reflect together as we allow. We are going, I'm going to take you through the topic of sacrifice. And so I'm going to uh, put up the slides as we journey together. Amen. So friends, what does Lent and what does it mean? What is Lent and what does it mean? It's just a reminder as we continue to journey together. Length is a 40 days of reflection and preparation before the celebrations of Easter. And we usually give up or sacrifice something we enjoy, be it not eating chocolate or staying in social, uh, staying off in social media. By observing the 40 days of Lent, Christians replicate Jesus Christ's sacrifice and withdrawal into the desert for 40 days. Lent is marked by fasting both from food and festivities. Lent for Christians can also take more profound forms of veritable actions, such as giving of our own free time to the poor and needy. So when we think of Lent, we think of service, and going out into the streets so that we can demonstrate to the world the vast riches of God's self-love for us. Lent is meant to be a time of repentance. That's not a feeling of shame, but an, an awareness that sin separates us from God and of what it cost him to be reunited with us. Shame has its place, but feeling shame over sin is not the same thing as repentance from sin, because our temper can take our obedience to God and turn it into a source of pride. Whatever the sacrifice, it is our own personal reflection of Jesus, the provision in the wilderness, and the test of self-discipline. What is the real meaning of sacrifice? 
It is the act of giving up something that you want to keep, especially in order to get or do something else or to help someone. The story of Abraham is best known for the depth of his faith. In the book of Genesis, he obeys unquestionably the commands of God and is ready to follow his order to sacrifice his son Isaac as a test of his faith. God tells Abraham, Take now your son, your only son whom you love, Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I will tell you. Abraham starts to obey, but just as he is about to kill his son, an angel appears and says, Do not stretch out your hand against the lad, and do nothing to him. For now I know that you fear God, and since you have not withdrew your son, withheld your son, your only son from me, God says, I will greatly bless you. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore, your descendants will take passions of the cities of the enemies and through your offspring, all nations of the earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. God was teaching, and this is taken from Genesis 22, 16 to 18. God was teaching Abraham that covenant blessings require total commitment and obedience to the Lord. Abraham's willingness to surrender his beloved promised son secured the fulfillment of God's promises to him. This incident foreshadows God's sacrifice of his only son, Jesus Christ, on the cross at Calvary. For the sins of the world, when God commanded Abraham to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, the Lord uses Isaac as an example in the same way. He provided his son Jesus through his sacrificial death. God's great love for us requires of himself what God did not require of Abraham. And so these are some of the modern day sacrifices which we can really think about and really try to allow God to journey with us. Some are matters of the flesh, some are matters of the spirit, but above all, let us not, length does not mean hanging up. It means giving up. When you hang your clothes, you hang them so that when they are drier, you can go fetch them. But when you give up something, you, you, you intentionally give up something so that you can come to a place where you're healthy, not just physically, but spiritually. And so what does sacrifice mean today? Lent is a time for discipline, for confession, for honesty. Not because God is mean or fault finding or finger pointing, but because God wants us to know the joy of being cleansed out ready for all the good things he now has in store. And so the crux of Lent is the ability for us as individuals to hold steadfastly to our actions, requiring sacrifice for the duration of Lent and possibility thereafter if we have the strength of will. However, what is more and critical is not what we are sacrificing, but how we maintain the sacrifice. The key to, to that is our self-discipline. Whether it be 
relinquishing chocolate social media, aiding the less fortunate, helping our neighbor or stopping smoking is almost inconsequential. What is most poignant is that our daily actions in maintaining the discipline to our decision and how committed we are to it. By maintaining actionable behavior, we are able to show those outside our inner circle, our relationship with God, when other people see that we are living. Practicing our soul, our sacrificial principle on a daily basis. And not just through words, we are able to be a vessel of example of God's faith in us. Not only showing others how sacrifice can be, can be done, but growing our inner strength to be closer to God. And so friends, that concludes our session for our first Lenten sec uh, session of sacrifice. And essentially the question is, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice those things that have become a stumbling block towards meeting others? Are you willing to uh, sacrifice the things that have become a stumbling blocks for us into meeting God and hearing God's voice? Let us not be dismayed. Let us continue to soldier on as we allow the Spirit of God to lead us. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And so may you have a wonderful, fruitful week filled with many great things. And just look around and see God's love. Amen. <music>